So you've maxed out your 401k, and now you're wondering what's next in terms of savings. We're going to break down that order that you should be thinking about today, and we've done it by equating some different cars to these accounts, so it makes it a little more memorable. So we're going to start with the very first one, and that is one of our favorites. It's the HSA. And this one we equated to a Jeep Wrangler, right? Because there is a purpose for a Jeep Wrangler. You want to take it off road and you want to enjoy it in that way that it's meant to be created. And the health savings account, it also has a purpose, right, Mike? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's great for future medical expenses. You obviously can invest the funds. You know, I'm assuming you're eligible for an HSA. You're in a, in a high deductible medical plan. Uh, but our, our view is, you know, it's my favorite retirement account and you should uh, invest it for long-term growth. Yeah, I mean, triple tax advantage is hard to hard to miss out on there, right? If, if you have the option to do so. All right, and then our second account that you should be thinking about here is if you're a high saver, you have the option potentially for a backdoor Roth account. And we equated this to a, a Rolls Royce, right? Because a Rolls Royce can have suicide doors, which actually open from the back. See what we did there? <laughs> Very exciting. So yeah, so uh, HSA is a great account. Also, is is either a Roth IRA if you qualify normally, but as Chad mentioned, if your income is too high, uh, a backdoor Roth is a great way. You don't get a tax deduction up front, but the money grows tax deferred, uh, tax free with withdrawals in retirement. Just another great way to save long term, uh, tax efficiently after you've maxed out the 401k. Yeah, it, it can be a little unconventional and complex, but it can add value over time, saving more tax free ways. Our, our next account is also another tax-free account. It's called the Mega Backdoor Roth uh, 401k generally because it's in 401ks. And we equated this one to one of the fastest cars uh, on the road, uh, 1.9 seconds it can go, and it's uh, Konixe Jamera. We really like this account. We uh, Unfortunately, not everyone has access to one. So your 401k provider may not include after-tax contributions with the ability to convert to a, four, or a Roth 401k or Roth IRA. Uh, but if it does, uh, and I'd say somewhere to around 25% of employers do offer uh, today, definitely take advantage of it. If you're already, you know, maxing out HSA, back to Roth, um, it is a great account to put, you know, up to 25, 30,000 additional funds into Roth assets. Yeah. And we picked that one uh, because it's a turbocharged option for your savings, right? The car's a $1.7 million price tag. You know, that's up to you there to think about. Maybe the back, mega backdoor Roth can help you afford that car. Of course. You do it many, many years. You might be able to get there, but uh, it would definitely help you because of the tax savings on the, on the growth of the investments. Absolutely. And then our next here, uh, people don't often think about it as a retirement account, and it's, it's a more common account. It's a, it's a standard after-tax brokerage account, right? And we equated this to those sturdy standard Honda Accord. Yeah, this is reliable basic. It gets to where you need to go. I like to call it like a supercharged savings account. I think people think that once they've maxed out retirement accounts, there's nothing else left, but a brokerage account has a lot of flexibility. There's not the restrictions there are on retirement accounts. You can use the funds for, you know, retirement, college for the kids, you know, buy a second house. So it has a lot more flexibility. You know, unfortunately, uh, you know, some of the money is going to be taxed, the interest, the dividends, and potentially capital gains. So it is important to uh, invest that money tax efficient, tax efficiently, as we discuss in the podcast. Yeah, so much more tax diversification here, though, right? Because it depends on your tax bracket in the year you're in. You're going to have some years potentially in retirement where you might be in a lower tax bracket, um, and that could be really beneficial for this account because you might have zero percent taxable um, out of that account, depending on where you are. So just something to again diversify the tax structure and your savings, and have a nice account that has no restrictions. You can use it for whatever you want. Um, and then our, our fifth one here, we threw in as a bonus. Um, it's the 529. People have strong feelings about it. We equated it to a DeLorean, right? Because uh, you ideally are only going to need this account for a short time. The DeLorean was only produced for a short time. Um, but it is meant for your future. And of course, the DeLorean, the most famous example there is it's related to Back to the Future of the movie. Yeah, and unlike the, the brokerage account, the 529 does have uh, limited use. So that really is meant for college savings. Uh, for your children, you know, children. Um, as Chad mentioned, you know, some people have different views. Some want to help pay for college, some don't. If you don't or don't have kids, it's really not a, an account to use in your situation. If you do have uh, aspirations to help pay for college, then paying for, you know, saving a portion of it, you know, would recommend all of the, the cost of college, but maybe half of it in a uh, 529 account makes sense. But, 
you know, the use is limited, uh, the time period is limited. So it's just good. The investment approach is going to be different than maybe some of your other accounts. So I hope you can use some of this knowledge to just start saving maybe in those extra accounts if you're maxing out your 401k and wondering what's next. You can check out a lot of our other videos here on our channel, on our website, our podcast as well. You can subscribe if you don't want to miss our next episode. Thanks for joining us today.